what's up y'all i'm back i am i hope that everybody is having a blessed day and if you ain't woke up yet and you catch this replay <laughs> i hope that you do have a blessed day going forward i want to thank everybody for tuning in for even taking the time to click over here and to listen and especially if you make it all the way to the end of my podcast i do appreciate it this is podcast five social media pros and cons is the topic i did do a poll in my community post and out of the 3500 subscribers that i have only about nine uh decided to participate in the poll and i thank those people for doing so i appreciate you very much and this topic was chosen over bedroom boom or bedroom talk so let's get into it yo Let's talk about the fact that I am able to put this thing on waist trainer on, honey, and actually able to clip it to link the attachments while it's on my stomach versus usually, normally, I would have to uh, link it first and then pull it up as if it was like some shorts or something over my stomach and then attach my straps child weight loss is weight loss and do you hear me i'm grateful for it i just want to take the time and show a little gratitude right quick before i do dive into the topic at hand y'all i kid you not i was sitting here um when I woke up this morning, of course, I wake up every morning and I do pray and meditate, right? And immediately these topics started. I was um, presented with these different topics. Um, I literally this morning wrote down 40 new topics, 40 new topics for our upcoming podcast. Um, I'm just going to read out a few and I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I thank the Lord for placing that on my heart and on my spirit. I literally have written down all my upcoming podcasts in my journal um, for, you know, my start out topics, quote unquote. And I literally only had about 15 or 20. Maybe I got like 40 that I notated in under my notes um, on my phone. Um I'm just going to name a few. Um, There are, of course, ones that are going to come up. Um, I think I will drop another one today, actually. I think on Fridays, I'm going to dedicate my Fridays to two podcast days. Why not? While it's in me, it's in me. I mean, I I, I don't get tired, you know. Um, I definitely want to just keep that train flowing. Uh, I'm going to just read out a couple topics that I have here. Uh, One is holidays. Um, not celebrating holidays, um, finances and savings, <laughs> riding around with 30 day tags. It's, it's the flip side to that. Don't just think we talking about riding around like a month or two later with 30 day tags. Baby, we, we, I'm talking about something totally more far-fetched than that. Trust and believe domestic violence, um, controlling versus jealousy, things like that. Um, you know, uh churches um you know how to tell the real from the fake um spiritual gifts and you know a little bit of this a little bit of that investing in your children um so yeah so that those are just a few i literally have about 40 i want to say about a good 35 um topics that i jotted down so Let's go ahead and jump right into this. I did not live stream this one today like I did the one yesterday. Again, I thank everybody who participated. I think I had a total of about 11 in and out uh, people who joined and conversated with me for some reason. I'm not sure why the comments are not uh, visible when you go back and listen to it because I do not see nobody comments. And for the ones that's delayed, I was not talking to myself, baby. I was reading comments, okay? Just FYI. Pros and cons of social media. Oh my God, where do I freaking begin? First of all, let's untie this thing on head. Oh, this wig strap, because baby, it's cutting on my circle. Okay, oh, child, golly. Oh, now I can think right. Okay. 
First and foremost, I just want to say, I started this YouTube channel, hell, has it been a year? I think it's been a year or some change. Started it, it was all over the place. And honestly, it still is. I can't even lie. I got versatile content. I got me doing trial hauls, me being in people's business, me being a bully, uh, me um, talking about my divorce, talking about mental uh health issues um and makeup um and you know just weekly vlogs or just a look into my life what i did over uh, a week or what i did um within a few days and decided to post it and make it into a weekly vlog right some of that um what i have done is i went back um, and I just now doing this, even though I spoke about it a few months ago, I went back and actually removed some of uh, some videos. I deleted them. Um, yeah, some I did and some I didn't. Some are still there. Probably a good two or three. You ain't going to see too many that have nothing to do with me, actually. But for the most part, there were like 10 and more videos of just complete mess and drama, right? I say that to go towards the topic of bullying. Now, we all know that social media can be beneficial. I mean, we got people that have made a career out of being on social media alone and are comfortable with, with you know, being uh, influencers. Or I like to use the word creators because influence, influencing somebody, you know, what are we really influencing people to do? Okay, so I like to say creators. Um, I always talk about the ones that I follow on YouTube. Um, I have a YouTuber that I follow, that I've been following for two years now. Um, I have actually watched her grow. She has grown to the point that she actually has been hosting different events for YouTube. At this point, girl, is you working for YouTube now or what? Like, that's a big deal. Her dedication and consistency landed her with numerous of opportunities. Um, so there are upsides and downsides of being on social media. Now let's talk about me getting up first thing in the morning and grabbing your phone. A lot of us, a lot of us, the first thing we do is grab that damn phone, get on it and ignore the text messages. We don't have way to respond to them first. Some of us just jump right on social media, okay? Um, Jump on Facebook, check emails, check, you know, check messages, return calls, or this and the third. Um, a lot of our lives evolve around social media, honestly. Uh, some people feel like it's necessary to tell their whole life, every second, every up and down that they've ever endured or encountered, they feel like is is good to um <laughs> you know, go and display um, and be very loquacious about, you know, their business on social media. Um, and then there comes the backlash and the feedback that you are looking for. Um, and then there goes the additional problems. Now, some people like myself, I love to get on social media for a good laugh. I like to see something, baby. I am goofy for real, for real. I have a great sense of humor. And, I, you know, low-key, I do. Honestly, I can definitely say that I'm a, a very calm and dignified woman. And I'm very humble. Um, but I do love, even if it's crazy and retarded, Baby, if it made me laugh and tickle my spirit, I'm grateful for that because I can't tell you how many dark moments and how many stressful moments, you know, have occurred in my lifetime over the years, um, you know, and you wish you had some good laughter and, and you wish you were in a different headspace, but I'm grateful to be in the headspace that I am in now. And I'm able to laugh at things more now over the past couple, you know, uh, years, just because mentally I, I'm able to do so. And so I'm grateful for that. Um, me personally, my preference when I log on, my top sites are on social media uh, apps are TikTok, um, TikTok is one, YouTube, um, and Facebook. 
um, and Instagram, I'm really trying to start being more active on Instagram. I said that I was going to create a CC Love Instagram. I created one, but I do not remember that password, and I'm and I'm having the hardest time trying to get up in there. So I'm just going to try it again. Um, it may be on the CC Love. I might have to put like some numbers behind it and try to just re, uh, you know, get some of my work over there. Like you know, uh, start posting pictures, just you know, being active on Instagram. The reason I like to be on TikTok is it's for laughter. Um, I have a variety of different things. I have two different TikTok pages, okay? I have my personal, which is a private, you know, for people who know me or whatever, whoever, you know. And then I have the CC, the C, well, it's C Love, C E E Love um, TikTok page where I just, you know, just be on there messing around or share some things that I uploaded on my YouTube page or whatever, right? But on my personal, Oh my God, baby, I'll be on there cracking up. I like to find things that are informative. Um, and I like to look at things that uh refer to holistic healing, uh, different prayer and worship and meditations. And then we got the goofy stuff. Um, I like to watch, I'm weird. I like to watch people who can take stuff and build stuff and you know, watch, you know just truckers educate you about truckers life and i can just talk all day about the stuff that i watch on tiktok but let's be realistic and jump into the ups and downs of social media right <clears throat> uh bullying of course can occur i at a time definitely was doing that on my channel or you know we, i ain't got no no problem with calling a spade a spade i definitely was one of the ones who participated in um, displaying my uh, very vulgar opinions um, on somebody else's life and other people's business <laughs> um, that I just could have kept to myself. You know, that's just the real, that's the real spiel. You know, everybody got freedom of speech. They can do what they want to do. Some people, you know, you know, they, they comfortable with being, you know, doing that and being on that type of level. And that's their business. For me, I was a part of that. And um, it was very, I was, I was it, it, deep in it. I got sucked up in, you know, a world that wasn't even mine. Um, so I definitely played a part of bullying. Bullying is the worst thing you could do in life, uh, let alone doing it on social media. Um, we got people that have committed suicide from cyberbullying. We got people that then got killed on on social media. You know, we don't got pe- we don't have got people that have started beefs on social media. It all started from social media. Now people don't pull up on people shooting, taking them to court, putting them in jail, beefing on social media. I will never understand how it could go to the extent of it being becoming a legal thing for somebody bullying somebody on social media and people end up dead behind that. I've never understood how that could get to that extent, but it's got something to do with people and their mind frames. Um a lot of hating. A lot of hate hating uh hateful words um that comes along with the backlash and feedback from folks. A lot of people be in my comments and be in my under my videos talking junk out, you know, about whatever is boring or or because it's not messy or if I'm not able to make you laugh. Baby, on every single one of my videos, I know I don't say something stupid, some foolish. Now, I made my own self laugh, baby. That's fine with me. I'm not here to be a clown all the time. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to be me and be real and direct and, you know, you know, and be goofing around sometimes. Um. It could also be inspirational, too. I can't tell you how many reels and how many people, how many uh, inspirational people that I've come across on social media apps or websites that motivate you. It's this one lady. Her name is April Cochran. She's, um, she, I found her on TikTok. And baby, when she be on there preaching and, and giving the word and talk about the Lord all the time, very inf- uh, inspirational. And in and, and this one guy right now, uh, I got to go to his page. Let me go ahead and pull up his TikTok, man, because it's definitely worth it. Um, oh, man, let's see. I know he live right now. He got to be because he always live. Every morning he go live like twice a day. Let me see if he live right now. I bet you he is. Oh, no, he not. 
anyway, it's a guy on social media and he goes on there and he preaches. Man, I'm trying to tell you, he told me something uh, a few weeks ago that caught my attention ever since I, I, I took it and I ran with it. Somebody was in his comments talking about um, being too stressed out and talking about anxiety. He said, no, ma'am. He went to preaching about different scriptures and w- what we can rely on and go to and said, you know, was basically just saying, what are you stressed? Just let it go. There's no reason for you to be stressed out and have anxiety about what? Say, all you do is, is the Lord say, cast your cares upon me. All you have to do is have a, a faith a size of a must seed. You have to put your trust in the Lord, baby, honey. When he was talking, he was talking. Do you hear me? And ever since I've been following that man, I share him on my personal, my real Facebook page. And I think I posted him on my CC Love one on one Facebook page, but I'm not sure. But honey, I look like I anticipate. And he's so aggressive with his preaching. And it's so realistic. He talk about himself, how he went to prison, how he used to be in gangs. He I like preachers that keep real can talk about themselves. Talk about it. Don't be on your act like you ain't never did nothing in your life. Baby, I'll say if I was ever to become a motivational speaker, people is going to know all about my trials and tribulations because I want them to see that this come from a place of, of realness. This come from real life survival, real life struggle, real life situations. And I'm telling you that I can overcome something because, baby, I said my room did this and I went through this. I, I, I want to give up a thousand times. But look. I really have visions of me being on somebody's stage or being in front of groups of people and telling people my story because you two really don't know it all. Because I put a pause on it. I said, you know what? I'm going to start telling my story and, 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 and changing the narrative because people don't appreciate that. They don't appreciate, um, you know, watching somebody being able to overcome. They like to make a mockery of things like that. So anyway... Um, I've run across a lot of inspirational people. Um, that's the majority of things that I follow besides people that make me laugh. Um, anything inspirational, like, you know, weight loss journeys and, and you know, surviving domestic violence and, um, you know, going to, you know, getting degrees and, and changing their lifestyles and, and, you know, just maturing. I love to see uh thing type those type of things laughter oh my god i can name so many people that i watch for laughter on social media uh especially when you have a bad day baby you get on and you go to whoever you like to watch and you get a good laugh that will turn your day around it'll change your mindset it'll put something else on your spirit you can appreciate good con good creators excuse me that you can get a good laugh out of i appreciate anybody who's ever made me laugh because you probably made me laugh on one of my darkest days. You probably made me laugh and put something on you. You probably saved me from doing something I ain't had no business doing. I ain't, I ain't telling no lie. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Um, uh, Let's see. Business. Um, Social media can definitely be beneficial uh, as far as business promotion, um, especially when you up and coming and you trying to start out. I know that when I created my, and I'm currently trying to rebrand it, but that has been put on hold. That has been put on hold. We're going to talk about that in another podcast. Um, when I started, uh, opened up a business in 2021, um, I did not know what I was doing. I was not being resourceful going on YouTube and TikTok and none of that to try to learn um, things that I could do. It would have saved me way more money than I dished out. Um, I was able to create my own website. Um, it was very, I sat there and I went to Shopify, baby. And I paid all my money and I got my seller's license for the state of North Carolina. I got my, uh, you know, my LLC and my EIN or whatever. I got everything I needed. I was legit. Um, I went and got me some. Um, uh, I made my own business cards, and I went on Shopify. And it took me week. It took me a whole week or two to get my website perfect. Man, but baby, my website looked like Fashion Nova and Shein. Do you hear me? Um, I had an apparel website. I had everything for the, everybody in the household. I had things for your pets, um, nails, wigs, clothes. And I was making, of course, making my sales, but it got too overwhelming for me. And things in life took place that I had to put a pause and I had to stir away from that. 
Um, and I'm currently now uh, trying to slowly but surely find my way back to that. I sat there and literally created my own website by finding pictures, creating my own logos, making it into my own remixing things, uh, going in and, and um, copying and pasting and inserting things into where it needed to go so that you can have a search bar and you can click on a specific link that'll take you directly to this shirt that you see, categorize everything from women's to men's to children's clothing to uh, uh you know, it was it was a very nice, very nice put together website. It was very, it looked very professional. I never in my life went to school for web design. I ain't never in my life sat and was able to create a whole website. I literally had a very decent website. It was versatile. I had some nice clothes up on there too. Great vendors, great vendors. I sat and taught myself how to do all of that. Had my shipping policy, my refund policy at the at the end of the page, at the bottom of the website, just like all the all your popular websites, all your your fashion brands. Yeah, you had options. I I was able to 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 cop a deal with Quad Pay. It's not called Zip, I believe. It's kind of like Afterpay, where you can pay in installments, kind of like K Um, yeah, I had linked up with them. I was enabled. I was I enabled that on my on my website where you can pay in installments. Um, we had shipment trackers, all of that, all by myself. One man army. And keep in mind, I was also working at the same time as well. I would get out of work and then right from my computer, spend hours, spend a whole 24 hours sitting at a computer, sleeping, losing my mind, put so much blood, sweat, and tears into, into my business. You know, until, you know, until I couldn't take no more because I wanted, you know why? I had no support. I had about three family members who used to consistently buy from me every week. But I had more strangers. Oh, I had traffic come to my webs. I had a whole Facebook page and Instagram directly linked to my business, to my, to my website. And I had so many, um, I used to generate coupons and discounts. Like I taught myself how to do all of that. You used to have to pay for ads just to drive business to your, but see, I didn't know nothing about uh, TikTok and, and I wouldn't really own Instagram like that. But eventually I got more people to come. But it got able to the point where I got, I got, baby, I got tired, I got overwhelmed, I got burnt out. And I just had to put a pause on that. And for other reasons, but I had to put a pause on it. But knowing now that you have these social media and these different um, outlet, uh, you know, uh, apps and different types of outlets, you can promote yourself and you can do so much more with social media as far as business and promotion. I'm telling you, that's a huge benefit to trying to grow a business and getting traffic to your business. I'm telling you, promote, 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 share, 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 share. I'm telling you. And I also said I wanted to do because I literally, that's why I want to go back to school for web design and other things. Um, but I feel like I could make that, you know, I can make that a side hustle, a side career doing web design. I'm really good at it. And I'm self-taught. So imagine if I go get some real legit learning and training on how to do stuff differently. Man, what? man i'm good at making flyers like i need to redo my intro to my youtube channel though that was just i'm just being lazy i got like two different templates i already stored i just ain't finished it so i said girl you know you need to redo this intro but at this at this moment of time that's what we rocking and rolling with but i'm just very i'm i'm very um I'm like a sponge, man. I, I soak up information and I just use it and remix it to the best of my ability. So um, that is a, definitely a pro to social media or utilizing it. You can also discover self-love or um, I ain't going to say discover self-love on social media. You can use it to, you know, like for me, there was this one a uh, person I used to watch on, uh, she's from Nigeria. I used to watch her years ago. And like I said, I done said it in many videos on my channel that I used to not 
care about how my skin looked. Like I was way darker than what I am now. Um, and I started watching her and she used to upload try on hauls and go over different bags and different stuff. Watching her made me want to get up and put something on. Watching her made me want to get up and do fix my eyebrows, get get my eyebrows arched, get my nails, keep keep them done, do put a little something on my face, make me look like something. And that's what I did. And ever since, baby, <laughs> yeah, y'all see the glow up, y'all see to that video that then versus now or i don't look like what i've been through whatever is titled up on my youtube channel let's talk about it y'all know them thin and now them thin and now pictures baby child listen to me i'm trying to tell you i'm so grateful for change and growth y'all don't understand but scrolling on social media it had helped me get in tune with myself and it, it helped me get on the get foot you know what i'm saying try to do something different than what i was doing um, now, another thing about being on social media is the downside. You know, of course, you can also develop self-hate. And that goes back to, you know, your Instagram models or your people, your influencers or your creators that you watch. And if you're not happy with yourself and the way you look, you can create and develop self-hate because you want to look like who you see. And that's one thing about me, baby. And I had somebody come in, baby. I had somebody mention something about my weight loss. And and since, you know, some people be delayed. That's what I call people that's kind of special and don't know no better. And, you know, S-L-O-W. I call them delayed. Okay. I lost weight because I have high blood pressure. And me, first of all, food was not tasting the same to me no more. And I got too big. I felt tired all the time. If I did this for me, if I wanted, I got pictures of me when I was 184 pounds. I look like a totally different person. And that was way, I ain't even mean to lose. That was for me recovering from a car accident. But I was, you know, I, I liked the look. Like, I, I looked way healthier. But I wasn't even healthy, though. Maybe I was crippled. So now that I'm able to maintain and, con- and control what I'm able to intake... Why not try to live a healthier lifestyle? Baby, I'm trying to like nobody because I'm fine as hell. I'm trying to tell you. We know this already. So I will never do anything for clout as far as looks. I don't need to share nothing for likes and looks. Baby, I came on here showing y'all my cellulite and my rose faithfully. Do you hear me? Baby, please. Please understand me. We is different, honey. I ain't, we don't have to do that. We is comfortable, but some people do want the BBLs, and they want. I ain't gonna lie, I want me a breast reduction so bad, baby. Please, cause these, uh, these, these, these ain't no joke. But some people want to look like people. It's some vloggers I watch. They they use lip fillers. Like I feel like they messing up their face, but I'm not gonna sit there and unfollow them, and just cause they using lip fillers. Baby, just leave your mouth alone. <laughs> Use it wouldn't it be used for? <laughs> Hello, and just live your life. And then maybe most of them be beautiful. They be beautiful. Don't need to do nothing. But people do what they want to do with their body. Um, as a creator, I just feel like it's always good to be authentic and be real with your audience. Um, I made a mistake by coming on here and I would say overshared a little bit, but it was, it's, it's real life shit. Like it's, it's real deal. Um, and I don't really regret it, but you know, I put a pause on it because it wasn't appreciated. Like it's my choice at the end of the day to share about me and what I'd have been through and don't nobody got to like it, but I'm not going to keep talking and wasting my voice. For nothing. If it ain't, if, if 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 you you know, if I feel like, or me sharing my experiences or my survival ain't beneficial to nobody, I'm gonna shut up. Baby, we can hold on. We we can change the narrative. We can definitely talk about something else. But um, I think you should be able to share what you want to share. Um. Uh, definitely don't recommend oversharing, of course, but it's the way you do it. How do you do it? You know what I mean? Um, definitely don't try to come on social media and make enemies. I don't think that's what that's for. I'll let 
you know, being distasteful and in 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 you know creating beefs from being online, being uh you know typewriter gangsters, social media gangsters. That's just childish and ridiculous. Don't trust nobody on social media either. I don't get. Listen, I don't give that celebrity. Do not trust nobody on social media, please. Um. I don't believe in linking up either. I don't believe in linking up with nobody outside of social media. Like we can link up and do live videos together and we can link up and, and, and do you know, whatever we, we can do on here. But to know me is to be willing to interact with me outside of social media. And then I still got to learn you for I can even ever think about linking up. I watch so many people that try to link up with people on social media just because they like all your videos and share all your videos and they comment on every video you know you feel like that's your best friend and then you exchange phone numbers and they only did that as a motive to get you to set you up then they be mad and falling out with people on social media and got to go to jail and be 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 you know be ready to shoot people house up because they did you wrong now they got your number blasted everywhere got your address now you mad that's your fault you the fool I believe you should do what works for you. Um, for me, like I said, I'm very versatile on this channel. I have vlogs. I have me videos of me sitting here with my head nappy, with bonnets on, with try on hauls, um, makeup. I don't hear with a hangover. Like, baby, please. I'm all over the place on this channel. <laughs> That's what works for me. I'm always all over the place in real life. You know, not in a bad way, but. Baby, I, I, I'm. It's the OCD child. It's the OCD. Um, I don't believe in responding to everything, especially comments. Um, I get, you know, people be coming for me, and they try to do it slick in a slick manner. <laughs> um, you have a lot of people that try to, uh, they try to be in a, they try to be astute creators, you know, um. And that that's you know, and it sometimes they don't really work out in their favor. Um, a lot of people are very vivacious. Um, they just try to do more than what they need to do. Very animated, you know what I mean. Um, over here, you're gonna always find authenticity. I don't know what else and how else to be. Sometimes I may beat around a bush on certain things and certain people I talk at or about just for my own privacy. Um, let's see. Try to include positivity and laughter in your content, um, in your life. Um, but on here, you know, my other content creators. And again, this ain't no listen to me. Hey, I'm this school of CC. Let's go ahead and learn something baby listen i'm just saying i'm just being real i'm just throwing it out there either you take heed or you listen to it if you don't i don't give a damn what to do with it but it's out there it's in the air include some type of positivity in your content laughter you know um i'm not a fan of nudity i hate to see instagram pictures of people half naked and showing all they why you got to show all your body? Leave some type of mystery to yourself. I don't believe in, just like me, I do not believe in wearing booty shorts and like having all my titties out. If I'm with my bae, yeah. But I feel like some of that stuff need to be just for bae and bae only. Wouldn't be women that be fine as I'll get out. Why I need to see the way your waistline look? I literally can see your waistline. I can see the same thing your man go home and lay with. Why I need to see the shape, the whole full shape of your titties? Why should I have to see your belly and your back all the time? And your ass, top of your ass crack? Why should I be able to see damn near to your, your bikini line when you're wearing shorts? I don't, some things should be kept. Uh, I'm not a fan of, of all this nakedness, baby. I guess I'm old school. Um... I believe we should do a cap time, a cap time, meaning um, a cutoff time or a limited consumption of YouTube, especially when we are infatuated with other people's lives and we make this a daily thing to come on here and stroll and troll and stalk and harass content creators. You know, limit your consumption. It's nothing wrong with taking a fast from social media. 
I'm telling you, I did that in the midst of me doing my no meat. Um, I did do a fast from TikTok because I'm literally on it all day, every day. I, I'm not going to cap because it'd be funny. And I find a lot of like I'm going to a herbal store. I'm getting some items from my herbal store Sunday and I want to get this is my first time. I'm be trying burdock root and I want to give me some lemongrass and I want to get like herbs I've never uh, dealt with before. And I'm trying to, you know, be on this, I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say a holistic journey, but kind of sort of like I'm trying to just like now I'm doing this thing where um, you take uh, olive oil and you put it in a jar, a mason jar with oregano and rosemary and you let it sit. And I'm here that after a while, if you let it sit for a couple of months and you rub it on your body, it it helps with inflammation. So I'm trying that. Like I'm really into like old school or uh, natural remedies. Like I, I don't know, it's just something in me that just it, I'm, my soul is interested in 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 everything uh, that is different from you know things that are trending. Um. So yeah, I'm also. Um, I don't recommend people being on social media, being under the influence. Like, if you know you drunk out your mind, baby, I came on here drunk one time last year. Baby, please. And I was on somebody's live commenting on some mess. Baby, I was told down. I don't even know if that lady got that live still up. But baby, I was told down. Words were slurred from here to the east, to west, to north, to south. Just a hot mess. Don't be coming on here high and in drunk and stuff, looking ridiculous and sounding stupid. I'm just saying. Overall, the cons is going to be definitely, most definitely, the, the cons or the downside of being on social media will be feedback, backlash, hate, stalkers, uh, taking a risk. You're taking a risk by being on social media at all, especially doing things like this or just being vocal, being opinionated about stuff. Uh, everybody's not going to agree with you, and that's fine. But you got to be like me, baby. We take the punches and we roll with it. We do not care. Hello, somebody. Um, consistency. A lot of uh, creators lack consistency. You know, I'm one of them. I'm proud of myself, though. I have been uploading for like a week straight now, right? It seemed like it. Um, it's a lose or win. You're either going to be successful on here or you ain't. I believe that's up to you. Um that goes with consistency and dedication. Um, don't let it break you down either. Don't be, uh, you know, upset if you only got them thousand followers or them five hundred followers for now. What are you doing? Try, try different things. Try to be more engaging. Try to be more realistic. You know, even if you just want to do comedy or be comedic, try skits. If you just want to tell jokes, I don't know. Try roasting yourself. Talk about yourself. Use family members. You know. Not trying to be little, well, you know, or break nobody down, but you know, it's different ways and different tactics you can do to try to help your situation or give you ideas. Go watch somebody's channel for inspo. There ain't nothing wrong with getting inspiration from other folks. Keep down the drama, child. Keep down the drama on your channels if you can, honey. Um, that's why I wanted to change the narrative of my channel. I didn't want it to be based off drama and all about drama. No, not a hundred percent. Now, I'm just saying, you know, not at all, but, you know, it is what it is. Beef. If you got the energy to create beef and start beef and indulge with, like, beef on social media, that's just childish. Come on. I don't care how old you are. You could be 18 or 65. You really sitting on social media creating beef with somebody. Go fix you something to eat. Go to work. Go do something else. Nobody, ain't nobody got time for beef, baby. They out here finna give us fake food. We've been eating fake meat for the longest, okay? They bioengineering all your foods. You need to be looking at your food labels and throw stuff away, especially these seasonings and these foods and canned goods. They have bioengineered on there, on the ingredients tab. Throw that stuff away. So try to pull away from all these red dyes and food and start looking at what you what you what you putting in into into yourself. Now I ain't I ain't perfect. I slip up. Baby, please. Still like what I like, but as far as them red meats, baby, that's dumb for. That's dumb for. I cannot do it. I cannot go back to that. 
I am even trying to get me some beats. I'm trying to get me a juicer. I want to start juicing because I love smoothies. Man, I make the best smoothies in the world. I kid you not. And I done started putting like a tad bit of ginger root in my in my smoothies. It give it like this uh, tingling, minty, oh my God, what a splat, just a sprinkle of cinnamon in your fruit smoothie. It give you a whole nother, it, it puts you in the game. It's a whole nother vibe. I promise you, try it, try it, try it, try it. Um, Yeah, man. Um, I feel like those are the pros and cons of social media. It could be for you or it could be against you no matter what. It is up to you and how hard you're willing to play the game um, to whether, you know, where you end up. Um, you can stop. You can start over. You can come back to it. Um, if you want to, you know, grow, just be consistent, man, and try to do what you want to do. But just don't be out here trying to be ruthless. You ain't got to be ruthless. You know, add to the to the uh, solution, not the dang on problem. But that's your girl, CC Love. I thank y'all for listening and checking in and tuning in. I appreciate you more than you know. Stay blessed, stay positive, and I'm holla at y'all to the end. Stay sweet.